back to Final Fantasy V Advance, Game Boy Advance. Last time we, we finally got one of these, uh, one of those uh, tablets for one of the 12 legendary weapons. And we have a pretty interesting uh, boss fight coming up, if you know what I'm talking about, for those of you who have played the game before. Continuing, automatic cutscene here. Listen, a wind drake. Lena! Lena, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Say something. This body is mine. Lena? Nani? Be civil to the business for a millennium. Go forth. Meluzine, Melus or whatever the fuck this, uh, this woman is called. X-Death! <laughs> oh, that was one seal within the rivers, now it's my command. Mine to command. Uh, Linda, stop, please. Linda! <laughs> Face destruction at your friend's hand. X death! <laughs> now watch as I take care of a totally infest infestation or whatever. The Library of Agents. Okay, that's not good. Momo, how many times have I told you don't bother me when I'm doing my commentaries, okay? My cat is uh, such a teacher whore. Okay, that's not good. The library just got sucked to the void. That's very, very bad. Out, cat. Out. No cats allowed. Out, 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 out. Soon. Very soon. The power of the void will be, will be completely mine. And the entire earth will kneel before me. ha <laughs> Lena, stop! Sacrifice itself, here you attacked. The demon spell is spoiled from Lena's body. Now! Okay, here we have a naked woman covered in snakes. She is completely naked. Alright, anyway, uh, the bitch starts out being weak to fire, but throughout the fight, as the hit points get low, I think she'll change her, uh, her, her elemental weakness. So, I want to try to take her out before that happens. Comical, of course, and now you know what happens now, right? Fire guy on the whole party, bounces back to you, and this is really going to hurt. Eighth, six thousand, six thousand damage, not bad. Spell blade. With the double sword thing, and ha <laughs> ha, back at you, bitch. But she heals from that. How nice. Let's do that again. There's a guy, back at you, bitch. But she's gonna absorb that, right? Yeah, of course, but barely. Barely change. Oh, fuck! I hate. I knew she was gonna do that right when I attacked, too. I see, that's very bad. Now she's not with the fire anymore. I gotta find out exactly what she's weak to. I have no idea what it is. Damn it! I don't know what she's weak to anymore. Okay, that's gonna make this a lot. Okay, she she's casting fire, so I'm assuming she's weak to uh, she's she's weak to ice now. But I gotta attack her before she before she changes her weakness. Oh, I don't I don't have that on anymore. I don't have effect on anymore. Thunder guy, now you now you're thunder. Bitch, you bitch! Every time I get ready to attack you. You do a barrier change. Oh, come on. And I don't have white magic because I didn't expect this fight to take that long. All right, let me do that again. All right, let's try that again. 
fucking naked woman covered in snakes. This time I'm gonna use two black mages. So when it look, I'll kill the bitch before she starts uh, changing her element to weakness. Cause she always, she always starts out being weak to fire. Black magic fire guy. Black magic fire guy. Four thousand. She's already lost. I say about almost more than half a health here. Okay, fire guy. Hurry, 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 hurry. Before she changes. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Die, bitch. Thank you. Twenty job points. Too bad that's on my black mages, but if you don't kill it quickly, that fight's gonna get really, really annoying. Trust me. Bart, I, Lena, sister, Krill, the castle, we were the darkest, it, we know, don't try to speak. Don't worry, she's not dying. <laughs> Lena joined the party. But unfortunately, she starts out being KO'd, so you might want to pick up immediately. Let's do that. Alright, you see this? 999 job points. I can show you there's a really good reason why the next uh, red mace level costs that much. Trust me, there's a really good reason for that. Alright, now things are going to get just a little more interesting. We're going to get our first three legendary weapons. Well, normally they would be the legendary weapons, but of course, since I'm playing the Game Boy Advance version, there are strong weapons in the extra dungeon. Hmm. Looks like I can't use level 3 magic spells in this uh, red maze form, but that's okay. You're not using, uh, you aren't, I can assure you, you aren't using red mage so you can uh, use the magic, using it so you can uh, gain special ability. The job sucks, but the special ability is just, just broken. Uh, oops, excuse me. Die, please. Your turn. Damn it, Momo! Alright, our ship is around here somewhere. Okay, our ship, there, there it is, there it is, there's our ship. Uh, going in here, you'll automatically have a cutscene. And quite an unpleasant one at that. We can enter the intermission with near near the castle tycoon where yeah, stop biting me, Mo uh, damn it, Mo. God, uh, uh. One second guys, I'll be right back. Now then, we can enter the intermission near where the, where the, where the castle tycoon used to be. Hurry, it won't be much longer to, to Esther gains the full power of the void. But Gita says we had, we had the power to fight him and win. We need the 12 legendary weapons. They're in the sealed castle. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, if uh, you can go to Esther right now, but with, with these hit points, I'll get completely just destroyed down there. And it's not extra I'm worried about, it's, it's the random monsters down there that are kicking my ass. <laughs> they said none can control the infinite power of the void. Pathetic fools. Power of the void, reveal your true self. Go forth and destroy everything. Show how absolute, show how absolute your power really is. Okay, this isn't good. Apparently, he's um, what he's doing is he's 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 using the power of the void to destroy all the towns, and everybody's getting trapped inside the void. Remember, uh, Desidia, when he was so so dead set on sending people to the void. This is what he meant. All the towns have been sent to the void. 
Hey, Steph, stop! No! Not the Moogles! Koopo! Krill! Koopo, Koopo! Okay, now he just got Bosch's hometown. Ah! Bart, help! It's awful. Even a tiny place like Boss's hometown, Licks. That, to go that far is. Uh, that was Boss's hometown, so naturally he's pissed off. He grabs the wheel and drives like a maniac across the world. Okay, okay, I get it. You're pissed off. You don't have to drive around it ten times. But stop. Get a hold of yourself. All right, so the airship is ours again. Now, there's quite a lot of stuff that we can do, but before doing that, I think I'm going to make a little trip. Let's see here. Um, before doing anything, let me pay a little visit to a certain town. Oh, I forgot how fast this shit is. You see this, uh, this forest right here? This forest is quite interesting. Okay, at this point in the game, this forest here, once you go inside it, a random encounter. No, the Phantom Village. Pretty sneaky, huh? Alright, the way th this village works is, uh, there's like two item shops, two magic shops, and two armor shops. One one of them is a clear as day, but another one's always hidden. This is some kind of chuckable side quest. I don't know how it works. I never did it before. Now this guy is a pain in the ass, and this is why. Every time I come down here, he always blocks my path completely. I hate. I can't tell you how much that is. That is so fucking annoying. Move, bastard. Now then, you can, uh, you, you can heal up here. Make sure you do that. Save your tents. We'll go to the left later on. Let's go to the right for now. Uh, what the hell is this door? Because every time you try to go in it, it does this and it kicks you out. So you can't go in there for some reason. <gasps> Maybe that's just for there for sure. Uh, here's the normal clerk. He sells the base stuff, Flame Tongue. And since I didn't pick one up, I'm going to buy one. Because that's a very helpful weapon. Uh, let's see, Guy Hammer, Ice Band, Moonstar, uh, Katana. I don't need that. Cause I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a much better one real soon. Now, this guy right here sells the ultimate Fumashuken. I love this item so much. Very, very, very powerful item. But as you can see, it's really expensive. I can show you it costs a lot of money for a reason. Now then, I can buy these again. Let's stock up on these. I've got a lot of gear. I want to make sure that I don't have to worry about knights for a long time. So when I choose to level up my ninjas, I have something to attack them with, and I'm gonna be using uh, I'm gonna be using a lot of these in about a few more episodes. Let me just go ahead and uh, get them now. I would buy a few of these, but they just cost us way too much right now. I'll uh, deal with that later. There's something else I want to get my hands on. 
You can learn a song over there, but once again, I don't like bards. They suck ass, so, yeah. Okay, that fucking cursed ring has got to go. Move! Hate that fucker, man. <laughs> Alright, next let's go to the, um, to the session shop, I guess. Oh, damn, I left the village. That's okay. Go right back in there. There's a the magic shop. The armor shop. Go this way, you'll find... Oh, no. Not that way. Oh, I forgot you gotta press this first. Now let's do this and do this. That down there is uh, just to taunt you. You can buy uh, accessories here. Come on, stand still. Thank you. Herm sandals, auto haste, ancient rings, protect from zombie. You might want to get a few of these, but not right now. Fang ring, I highly recommend getting these. Core rings. Uh, let's just say it would be in your best interest to get these. I don't have any right now. Uh, you can actually find a dragon to get these, but you know, they cost 50,000 gear, which is very, very expensive, unfortunately. I'll get this later, and honestly, I don't need it, but if it's your first time playing it, I highly recommend getting this, and these too. Just want to show you that, we'll deal with that later. Uh, let me sell these goddamn, uh, I don't need that. Get that shit out of here. Alright, with that out of the way... Let's pay a little visit to the magic shop to see if they have anything new. Move! I hate these phantom fuckers, man. They always block my path. Oh, of course, there's a hidden, uh, oh, wrong one. Oh, wrong way, okay. Uh, don't worry about him. You probably already have that stuff. I just remember, I gotta go around the back, and I gotta do this. Yeah, go that way. And, up uh, fuck, go in there. Now, here we go. Arise! Full life! I shall not tell you to buy that, right? You know to get that. Dispel a moist, that might come handy. Death, don't need it. Dispel. Quick! Quick! For those of you who play Final Fantasy VI, you know exactly what this does, right? Get it! Banish, don't need that. Very expensive spells, but I recommend getting them, of course. And notice that purple chocobo over there. We'll deal with him later. And now let me pay a little visit back to Rigo. So I can get a certain accessory. Let me see. Uh, okay, go down a little bit. First, let's go back here. This is the place that was uh, close to the um, the forest. Uh, in case you haven't noticed this by now, uh, Galoo's world and our world are now, are now one world. So, uh, fuck, this isn't it. Here we go. Remember this town? Let's go in the armor shop. At this point, if you talk to the little girl here, you're the ones fighting S Death? This is my past position, but here. She gives you a free ribbon. I don't think I need to tell you to pick that up, right? Okay. So there are that's your third ribbon. So you get three free ribbons in this game, I believe. I don't think there are any more free ones. I think if you want another one, you're gonna have to get it, um, get it from a red drop. But we'll be doing that later on. Now let's take a little visit back to the pirate cave, if I can remember how to get there. Uh, let's see. How the fuck did I get back to that pirate cave again? Where was it? It was, uh... Over here, I think, to the right. To the east continent. To the bridge. It's near, it's near Castle Tycoon. Oh, damn! I didn't mean to do that. Uh, if you go to the place where Castle Tycoon was, you'll automatically be, uh, sucked into the void. But don't worry if you do that, because you can, um... You can go out. We can't fight it. We're being sucked in. 
Good. We get a free ride. Here we go. But we're not quite ready for this yet. We'll do that shit later. Uh, okay, that was Castle Tycoon. Uh, where's the fucking... Ah! Anyway, the pirate cave is around here somewhere. Uh, we... Here we go, here we go. Here we are. Back in the pirate cave, let's go here to the right and... Huh? What's going on here? Sidra, you... you're alive! Ferris, what are you talking about? Ferris, do you see something? You don't? Don't you? Sidra's right there! Sidra's your name? Oh, you're such a good girl. Quill, can you see her? Sister Spear says she wants to help you, Ferris. Eh? Such a kind soul. Quill has this, this magical ability to talk to spirits and chocobos and moogles, so... I don't know how she got all these powers, but oh well. Receive the summon monster Sildria. Now we have a new summon spell and quite a useful one at that. This is a. Uh, can I rearrange my summons? No. This is a thunder based summon. It's much more strong than Remoth. It's much more costly, but you want to use this instead of Remoth because it's, it's much more powerful. It'll let you kill things in one shot. Um, we're gonna be using that a lot later on, trust me. We're done here. Okay, now, dudes, let's go get that Brave Blade that I've been talking about since I started this LP. I've, on I've only ran away from two battles. I've only ran away twice, so it, sh it should be pretty damn strong. I'm not sure, but... I know. This will be the first time that I get the Brave Blade. I usually get, get the, um... Get the chicken knife, but I don't like chicken knife anymore. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to go around here, go this way, go in this little hidden door here. Uh, a very confusing place, but if you keep walking around, eventually you'll find your way out of this this mess. Let me see. There we go. Whatever we hear, getting this far means you're very brave. Or you're just very lucky. How's this? I'll let you decide. If you're brave, take what's on the left. If you're a coward, take what's on the right. What's it gonna be? I'm brave, so we're gonna get the one on the left. Receive the brave blade. Buck, 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 buck. He automatically uh, clucks like a chicken. Even if you get the Brave Blade, but oh well. Look at that. That's a lot of attack power. Lose the fitness as the wheeler runs away from battle. So I've only run away from two battles, so I'm assuming that its attack power is 150. Because right now it says 148, which is really, really powerful for this point in the game. And if I do this right here, look at that 296. That's a hell of a lot of attack for this point. The chicken knife may be stronger, but I I just I don't like it because un unfortunately when you use the chicken knife sometimes you'll you'll automatically run away from battle and that's kind of annoying. You don't want to do that anyway. Uh, come on now, let's get let's get out let's, let's, let's get out of here. Up 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 
up and out. All right, we're out of here. Now, the Brave Blade is kind of risky because unfortunately, later on in the game, there are going to be some battles where you just aren't going to fight and you're going to start running away from them. But I'm going to try my best not to do that. All right, now let's start getting some of these uh, legendary weapons. There's a reason why I wanted to uh, to pick up a few things before doing this. Let me see. Uh, where's that place anyway? Here we go. Here we go. Here, here's the place. Here's the place. This is where you get your um, your legendary weapons. See why I'm on the map there? And for fuck's sake, save your game before going in there. Because there are two really, really, really dangerous and annoying monsters in here. These are the same guys who were in the, um, at the wind shrine, and they brought this uh, healing thing with you. Very, very convenient. Now, there are two annoying monsters here. With any luck, you want to counter them. And I didn't that time. Very, 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 very fortunate. All right, the way this works is uh, it, there are four tablets in the game. All four tablets can only uh, unlock three weapons. So after you pick, after you pick uh, three weapons, you have to go out and get another tablet. Whether or not you have to get these in, in a certain uh, the tablets in a certain order, I don't know. Now then, the twelve legendary weapons, assassin dagger. Not right now. I'm gonna get the ones that are gonna be very useful to me at this point in the game. Started with this. The Excalibur, of course. And normally, uh, this would be the strongest weapon in the game. But if you beat a certain monster in the game, it'll be that'll be stronger. All right, let's see. Brave Blade Excalibur. Look at that. The Brave the Brave Blade is much more powerful than the Excalibur at this point in the game. As long as you don't run away, that's why I got it. All right, let's see. Next, what's this? Uh, that's a bell, right? Guy bell. Fuck that. I always get the Excalibur first. The bow. Don't need that. That's for your rangers. Going over here. There it is. The mess of moon. Get it. Get it. Get this shit right now. I'm assuming this is the origin of Orin's uh, first strike in Final Fantasy X. Uh, in fact, uh, let me go ahead and put this on you. L let me... Uh, now here's a pretty interesting combo here. Let me go ahead and put this on Boss's Samurai so I can learn, the, uh, learn to equip, equip Samurai's. Uh, I'm going to put him in Berserk for the Berserk job. And he's gonna put on the put on the, the mess moon. The mess moon has first strike. I can't. I don't have a helmet, unfortunately. But that's okay because the battles aren't gonna last very long. Let me focus on that for a while. All right, one more weapon. What's this? Rune X. No, thank you. That's for berserkers, of course. Holy lance. Uh, I'm not using dragoons right now. I get that later. That's for ninjas, right? I might get that because I am using my ninjas. Let's see. Assassin's Dagger, that's for a thief. Fuck that. The heart, no. Magus Rod, that's for your black magic users. Sage of Staff. Hmm. Fire Lash. I think I'm going to get the Sage of Stair since I'm, since I'm going to be using a uh, white magic for a while. Yeah, let me get this. Receive the Sage of Staff. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, only a white mage can use that until you gain the ability to, uh, to equip Roz, of course. Oh, you can wear it too. Cool. A staff with the power of holy magic. This is really, really important. Trust me. This... This thing is much, much powerful than you think it is. This is a very, a very, a very useful weapon at doing a certain level, I can assure you. It'll save you a lot of magic points. 
All right, we'll be back here after we get another tablet. It was I was saying. There's a really, really, a really annoying muscle in this room. After doing that, you all might get a cutscene with XDF. Prisoners of this space between dimensions, hear me, my servants. That's a lot of servants. War is led by the light crystal. Seek the ancient tablets. Seek them out and kill them all. They was not allowed to obtain their favorite weapons that destroyed the new. Let us go, sire. Very well. Go now, my monsters. Destroy them while I gain the full power of the void. <laughs> Since S. Death uh, freed them from their lone prison in the void, I guess th they'll say, uh, well, you freed us, so we'll obey you now and stuff. Even though S. Death is nothing compared to the new. But oh well. Anyway, as I said, with any luck, you won't run into any monsters in this room, and I didn't. You don't want to, trust me. You don't want to. You don't want to fight any monsters there. You you don't want to do that. I was gonna come back here, uh, anyway, but I I picked up those. I picked that. I picked up that stuff just in case I did run into those annoying monsters in the castle, which I didn't, cause I I don't want to run away from them, so I can keep the power of my uh my brave blade. Uh, there's a few things I've got to pick up in here. Let's start out by going to the pub. Uh, I think there's like a. Mm. Let's go around here to the. Let's go this way. Around here to the back of the pub. You go in here. One of these things has something in it. I think. Yeah, there we go. Thief knife. You want to get that for your thief, of course. Okay, now even though we have the airship now, you there you are again in my way. I, I told you that this this one guy is gonna know the fuck out of you, cause he always does that. And you gotta wait for him to come by. Okay. Heal. Thank you. Going in here now. If you go to the left. There's a piano there. There's a piano over here, but fuck that. Cause I don't like bards. I'm going out here. And there's a blue chocobo. A black chocobo. Get it. This one's actually really, really hard to catch. Sometimes if you're... If you're good enough, you, you can actually trap him in a corner. And he won't be able to escape. Come here. Come here. This, this thing's hard to catch. Okay, you know what? Auto dash. Now let me get this goddamn joke. Gotcha. Stop shaking your butt. I don't want to see that. Okay, we're gonna be, we're gonna be using this thing for a while. All right, now that we got the blue chuckabo, uh, black chuckabo, no wacky calling it blue. Let's go get another summon. We're gonna go out to Bahamut now. Finally. Unfortunately, uh, Bahamut isn't as broken in this game as well. In, in Final Fantasy IV, Bahamut was just really, really broken. It pretty much did 9,000 late game. But you'd be lucky to do 3,000 and 4,000 th this time around. But it's still the strongest summon uh, um, that this game can uh, can produce. Bahamut's on this mountain, but unfortunately, in order to get there, we're going to have to do a lot of walking. And this is very, very bad. Because at this point in the game, in this desert, you're gonna start fighting this uh this this really powerful worm called the land crawler, I think. So make sure you, make sure you save your game but before doing this. What is the power of the Master Moon first strike berserk mode? As soon as the battle begins, he automatically attacks. This is really very useful for for ending annoying fights with with a single monsters that don't have a lot of hit points. When you're when you're backtracking. Wow, 4,000, look at that. That's the Brave Blade for you. Once again, the, the Chicken Knife is probably stronger, but you're going to have to run away from a lot of battles. And if you do that, you'll be on the level now, won't you? So fuck that. Fuck that shit. Give me the Brave Blade, yes. Continuing. See, m most people get, get the Chicken Knife, but I'm using the Brave Blade, I told you. I'm, I like to be, I like to be different. Than what what most people do when they play games.
Cause there's no point in me in me uh LP in this game if I'm gonna do the, the exact same thing that everybody else does when they LP the game, right? Right? Don't you agree? So I can show you some I, I can show you some some different tactics and stuff. You know. Too bad there's no really, really powerful um healing summon in this game. That would have been useful. You do have one healing summon, but it's really, really weak. It's, it's like one of the first summons you can ever get. I don't care who you're fighting. May I suggest that you always have the ability to cast uh, white magic? Cause trust me, you need white magic in this game. If, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't have a white mage in some form or another, you you aren't gonna survive survive this uh, game. Trust me, I can assure you. Just die, please. <laughs> you can't hurt me anymore. Uh, we've already been before. I meet you on top of the island. I mean, I meet you on on, on uh, top of the mountain. These monsters are, are, aren't any stronger. Save your fucking game. Save your game because you can die here. You can and will die here a few times. And by the way, uh, I recommend doing this. Go ahead and cast uh, Float on the whole party. Yes, uh, you want to do this. Let me take off the Samurai for now. Put on... Uh, The Mystic Knight, I guess, just so I can put a sword on. Let me see. He can't wear the S Cal, but only knights can wear that. I'm gonna give. Uh, let me see. Let me go to Berserk mode here and do this. Oh, fuck that. That's a waste of points. Let me go to my uh, my ninja form so I can focus on leveling that up and do the equip swords. So I can equip um, the S Caliber and whatever else. Probably the twin lenses. Yeah, I'm going to use this because it, it attacks three times. It attacks twice. I'm going to use that. Because I want to kill this son of a bitch as quickly as possible. Alright, let's go. Cross the rope. Muscles, of course. Just, just die, please. Wait a minute. Ugh, that's really annoying. All right, going up. You who have broken the seal, if you can best me in battle, I shall reward you with my power. Oh damn, that's so I know I missed. Uh, after you've attacked him a few times, I recommend summoning um Karmica because he can break out and make a flare any minute now. And of course, Earthshaker, that see that? That's that's why you want float. If I hadn't put on float, then I would have been completely just destroyed right there. Oh fuck, I forgot. I forgot that quick that I got reflect on. That that's gonna cost me. I forgot. That's definitely gonna cost me. I should have did cure first before before doing reflect. All I did was heal him. He didn't heal much though. Aqua breath. We can't take that, can we? No. I made a simple mistake. I made a simple, easy mistake, and I'm probably and I paid for it. Now I'm gonna haste up the whole party. Haste the guy. Quick is probably one of the most important spells in the game. Uh, Black Magic. Already? <laughs> Maelstrom. You missed. Throw Gil. Make a flare. Ah, oh, my flare wore off. God damn it. 
Okay, I'm using three samurais. That must mean something. This fight's pretty fucking hard, especially for this point in the game. Uh, I'm gonna equip Krill with the Reflect Ring. I have a really, really good reason for doing this. I'm gonna have her use, uh, I'm gonna have her use, um, Time Magic and White Magic. The Go Ahead Pin, of course. Uh, you're gonna throw a gill, you're gonna throw a gill, and you're gonna throw a gill. I need to kill this son of a bitch as quickly as possible. The thing that makes this fight so fucking hard is, uh, naturally, Bahamut has a move, has, has, yeah, stuttering. Bahamut has an attack called Mega Flare. Y'all know what it does. It does massive non element damage to the whole party. Uh, normally, in most Final Fantasy games, Bahamut counts down before he does it. But in this game, he does it at random. Sometimes he does it first. You don't know when he's gonna do Mega Flare. At this point in the game, the only way to survive it is by uh, reflect, or if he misses some kind of way, or if you somehow get lucky. I don't know. Um, but unfortunately, uh, he attacks really, really fast, and if, if your whole party has a uh, reflect on, uh, you won't be able to heal, and he'll kill you outright with moves like Earthquake and Frost and Atomic Ray. So I'm gonna keep Krill in in reflect by itself. Don't give five thousand damage. Time magic. Uh, Time ray. I'm gonna let him attack first. Quick. All right. First thing I'm gonna do is uh heal up heal up first, of course. Uh, now I'm going to. I thought I gave you the reflect ring. It should have. I thought I gave you that that reflect ring. It must have unequipped by accident. I hate when that happens. I, I hate that damn automatic, automatic thing. And next, I guess I'll. Uh, yeah, quick is a really cheap move, but I'm sorry. Th this move is a must for certain for certain fights. This move is definitely a must. Uh, let me use haste speed up. Once again, you really don't know when he's gonna do Mega Flare. Sometimes he does it really early. Sometimes he he waits. Aqua Breath. I ain't worried about that. It is painful, but oh well. If he does uh Mega Flare, I'm gonna die for sure. Which is why I'm trying to kill him before that happens. Uh, why'd I do that? What a waste of a turn. I should I should have healed. Poison Breath. That's not good. That's very very bad. We're still alive. Time magic. Ah! <laughs> when I changed my jaws, that reflect ring all magic came off. I hate it when that happens. Now keep the fucking reflect ring on. Now then, let's try that again. I got wiped out by uh by making further that yes well once again this is a really 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 difficult final fantasy game you're gonna get a lot of game overs your first time playing because this, this game just isn't easy i don't know what they were thinking when they made some of these uh fights anyway the reason why only krill is gonna have, have effect on is this way i can heal i can heal most of the party while slightly healing him, cause the damage the damage is coming from Bart, Lena, and Ferris. So even though she's gonna, even though she she'll probably die die real fast, and I still do some extra damage to him by doing that. I really don't like the idea of putting Bahamut in haste, so I'm gonna do do it this way. All right, throw Gil and be quick about it, cause you want to kill this son of a bitch as quickly as possible. I hate to 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 waste my money, but at this point, this is the best strategy I, I have for for this son of a bitch. Now, see, he he almost he almost killed me. Uh, quick, 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 and be quick about it. You miss. Thank you. The shield. Quick. All right, I get two turns. Now I can I can relax I can relax a little bit. I'm gonna use Cure. Uh, she's not gonna heal because she got the reflect on. It's gonna bounce back to him, but it's not gonna heal him that much. Only, only a thousand. 
Now I'm going to. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna heal her this way. There we go. Throw Gil. Throw Gil. Gil toss. You're not dead yet. Gil toss. Die. Of course, when I'm ready for him, he doesn't use Mega Flare. Receive the summon muster, Bahamut. Wow, I lost a lot of gill in that fight, didn't I? I still got a good amount. All right, guys, uh, that's gonna do for today. Uh, a fast way out here naturally is just use time magic and teleport. Yes, you wanna get that spell? It'll save you a lot of time. All right, we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.